Hey there. Today I'm going to show you how the members of Asking Alexandria have changed. You will get to know their ages and life stories in brief. Watch this video till the end to see how all the musicians of this Metallica band looked in their youth and early career and how they look now in 2023. Enjoy watching. Asking Alexandria founder Benjamin Bruce was born in London, but when he was six years old his family moved to Dubai. As a teenager, he picked up a guitar and realized he wanted to connect his life with music. Ben was inspired by blues guitarists, punk and heavy metal bands. All his free time he listened to Iron Maiden, Slipknot and Blink-182, and learned to play electric guitar from their songs. Also Bruce liked the first album of Metallica, video about which is on our channel. In 2006 he assembled the first lineup of Asking Alexandria and recorded with them the release The Irony of Your Perfection. After that the band moved from Dubai to England and broke up. Benjamin does not give up and assembles a new band with the same name. In 2009 Asking Alexandria band announced themselves with their debut album Stand Up and Scream, which hit the American Billboard 200 chart. The release became a success among fans of the Metalker genre. Subscribe to the channel not to miss my new exciting videos about rock stars. Let's keep going. James Cassells is an original member of Asking Alexandria, with whom he achieved mastery of the drums. James spent his childhood years in York with his younger sister. At the age of 18 he was encouraged to become the drummer for Asking Alexandria. After the release of their debut album, the band did a tour and immediately started recording the next one. Part of the process of creating the release of Reckless and Relentless was streamed on the internet so fans could watch their favorite band work on music. The second album premiered in April 2011, and the cover art depicts adult film actress Belladonna sitting in a dirty room next to a broken TV. Reckless and Relentless reached the top 10 of the Billboard 200 and sold over 30,000 copies in its first week. Cassells has participated in all of AA's albums, and aside from music, he spends a lot of time with his family. Cameron Liddell picked up his first guitar at the age of 15 and realized that rock music was his calling. During his teenage years he was inspired by the band Papa Roach. In 2008 he joined Asking Alexandria as a rhythm vocalist. Their 2013 third album From Death to Destiny was partly recorded on a tour bus. The work was well received by listeners, with critics noting the music's departure towards a more hard rock sound. The album was a commercial success and reached number one on the UK chart and number five on Billboard. Ukrainian singer Denis Shaforistov, also known as Denis Stoff, studied piano and guitar in music schools as a child. Since the age of 16 Denis has taken part in a variety of musical projects, but his first recognition came as the vocalist of the band Make Me Famous. In 2011 he recorded the EP Keep This In Your, which attracted the interest of major labels. After the release of the album It's Now or Never and a US tour, Stoff was fired from the band due to personal differences. He then put together the band Down and Dirty, which released several singles. In 2015 Dennis joined Asking Alexandria as a replacement vocalist for Danny Wersnup. With Stoff the band released their fourth album The Black, which received positive reviews from critics and reached number 9 on the Billboard chart. In the fall of 2016, Dennis left Asking Alexandria and started his own project Drag Me Out. Sam Bentley was invited to join the band at the age of 18 to replace the first bassist who left Asking Alexandria in 2009. Samuel was inspired by the band's Motley Crue and Def Leppard, and it was they who greatly influenced his playing style. After vocalist Danny Wersnup returned to the band, Asking Alexandria's fifth eponymous album was recorded. It was released in late 2017 and was generally received favorably by listeners and critics. The release is notable for the band's shift away from Metallica towards more melodic hard rock. In addition to music, Betley is the creator of his own clothing line. Sam is also a talented artist, having painted the cover art for AA's sixth release like A House on Fire. Joe Lancaster learned to play the trumpet in his childhood years, but then became interested in the bass guitar. He is the first bassist of Asking Alexandria. Joe joined AA in 2008, but left the band at the beginning of the next year, without recording a single release. In 2010 Lancaster became a member of the Metalker project with one last breath, he took part in the creation of two EPs and the debut studio album The Fearless Ones. By the way, at the age of 20 Joe lost his middle finger when he was climbing over a sharp fence and slipped. 
He took it with humor and tattooed a fingernail on that finger. In 2014 Lancaster left with one last breath and began playing second trumpet in the New York Brass Band. Danny Wersnup is one of the most recognizable artists in the metalcore genre. Already as a child he felt a great love for music. Danny mastered the violin and guitar, after which he started playing in the school orchestra at the age of nine. But when he picked up a guitar, Wersnup became imbued with rock and metal music. At that moment he realized that this is what he wanted to do. He created his first work under the nickname Danny Epidemic. But he became widely known as a vocalist in Asking Alexandria. After the first three successful albums, in 2015 Wersnup left AA to immerse himself in working on his project We Are Harlot. The band releases an album of the same name, which hits the US and UK charts. In 2016 Danny returns to Asking Alexandria and also with her to record an eponymous release, which listeners dubbed the Red Album. Besides music and solo work, Wersnup has a passion for photography and has already released his photo book Dark Horse. Watch these videos to see more fascinating transformations of your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.